Hey everybody! So today I'm going to do a walkthrough with answers for the solutions of the secret order of the keys for Loot Crate March 2016 called Primal. I like the box. <laughs> Little dinosaur. But I did this last month for the first secret order of keys and I got a great response out of it. And I have a lot of fun doing them, so I figured I would do walkthroughs for how to solve them. And then I will let you know spoilers before I give the answer. So if you just wanted help with uh, trying to figure out how to solve one of the puzzles but didn't want the answer, then you can skip ahead. But let's start off with the first one. And in my Loot Crate unboxing video, you may have seen... I called him Kong instead of Winston from Overwatch. Uh, I had just seen Kong Skull Island. It was stuck in my head, and so I just I did that. But it's Winston from Overwatch, and we're going to be using this shirt for the first puzzle. So you're going to need these, but I would say go ahead and maybe use it on the computer because it's a lot easier to do. Now if you see, notice the laser you have to overlay onto the shirt and it tells you what letters you need to do. So for the first one it's R-L-A-G-E and then for the second laser it is R-L-A-G-E just with a different with a different laser but it's the same letters for the first two and then the third one is P R L A G E P R L A G E so the first two have five letters it's the exact same letters and the third one has six letters so what I did was I had gone to word unscrambler and I put in the word the five letter word and the six letter word now I'm not going to show the solution yet but I wanted to say this is how I figured out what it was what I was trying to do was find a pattern in the laser to know what order to put in the letters and the way that they have the first two because the lasers are different there's got to be some kind of pattern to know what order the letters are supposed to be in. But I was having a hard time trying to figure it out. So I decided to do it this way and then just try and logically figure out what the words are. So we're going to get into spoilers now. And if you don't want to know the answer, go ahead and skip ahead. But what I did is I looked at the letters and saw the words that they created. Large makes sense as the first word because Winston is just large. And for the third word, repeal doesn't make sense, but leaper does because Winston jumps very high. So I have large and leaper so far. And the other words, glare, could work, but it doesn't make sense. Neither does Lager, larger, bleh, and argyle, but regal, that fits. Now it's not regal large leaper, so it's got to, it's got to be large regal leaper. And then that's what I put in, and ta-da, it's solved. So that's the answer for the primal is large regal leaper. Now this one took me a while because <laughs> I was spending so much time trying to figure out what the pattern of the lasers were. It was driving me crazy. So just unscrambling the words and trying to figure it out. It worked for me. It'll work for you. But I want to know what the pattern is. There's got to be some kind of way of figuring out what the pattern is. And I don't know what it would be. But... I got the answer so there you go if you know what the pattern is please comment below and let me know how the pattern works but 
unscrambling the letters seem to work just fine. For challenge number two, it's called slash matrix. And this one is basically just putting stuff on a grid. So you're given a matrix key that looks like this. It's got a bunch of numbers and letters associated with it. And what you're doing is you're going to be putting it on this grid. So you'll have 1 through 13 and A through Z and then these shapes. So you're basically associating the letters and numbers like this first one is 13 star to 7 diamond. So you're going to put a dot on 13 star and a dot on 7 diamond and then draw a line. And that's what you're going to do for all of them. You're drawing a line between the two points for every one. And then when you do that, it gives you the answer. So this is spoiler territory. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you draw all your lines. So skip ahead if you don't want to know the answer. 1974. They basically make you draw it three times. It's more of a time waster. <laughs> it takes a long time to draw them out. But that's the answer. And when you type it in, you get it solved. The second challenge is solved. Now, when I did this one, I was like, once I got to the answer, I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, you could have cut this down by a third and it would have said 1970, 1974. So I was kind of pissed off about that, <laughs> but not really. It was more like I had fun drawing the lines and then it kind of made itself clear but the way the order that it goes on the paper is they make you draw the four part of the four and part of the one and they skip around so the answer doesn't become really clear until the end so you don't really know until the end unless you're really looking at it but uh, you get so tied up in the detail of drawing one line with dots that it doesn't really become clear until you're done. So that one was pretty good. Challenge number three is called Quarry Quandary. And this one is going to be the first one where you use your glyph index. And so you'll need to make your glyph index first. You'll need two things. First, you'll need this part of your booklet, which is the last page, after you remove the staples so that you can separate the pages so be careful with the staples but you'll see the circles with the little designs inside them they line up with your glyph index and reference a letter so you'll see that the circles are in the same kind of same position as where they are on the glyph index and then what I did is I put them together so it references every shape with a letter. So I knew which shape was which letter and it made it a lot easier for me to just reference this instead of referencing the booklet and then going back to the glyph index over and over again. Because you're going to use this again in future challenges. So it's good to have it made or at least written down somewhere so that you know what is what. But what you do once you have your glyph index is you're going to take this part of your booklet, which is the opposite page of the front page. Now I've got I've got it the teeth cut out, that's for another one, but this one and you'll see the circles but also those weird designs and if you look close on each design you have some lines and some dots or you just have dots no lines now this that is referencing a number system a lot of ancient cultures 
use dots and lines as their number system. A dot is a 1 and a line is a 5. So if you look on it, you'll see 1 dot, 2 dots, 3 dots, 4 dots, and then a line is 5. And then a line with 1 dot is 6, and so on until you get all the way to 19. This goes up to 19, which is three lines and four dots. Now what you're going to do is starting with one, you're going to take your predator thing and you're going to line it up. And you're going to line it up so that the number, the number gets hidden. So if you see, you line it up this way, and you match the tooth on here with the tooth of the, the thing, and then it will show you a glyph inside the circle. So you want to look for the glyph that's inside the circle. Now when you do that, you reference 1 through 19. And then you look at the glyph that's in each one and you put down a letter. And when you do that, you will get an answer. So this is the spoiler part. If you don't want to know the answer, then uh, click away, go forward a little bit. But uh, you've been warned. So the answer is Heat Signature Hunter. And then you've solved challenge number three. Yay! I liked this one. It was interesting. Took a long time though to figure out all of the glyphs, but I did like the way that it was referencing the uh, bottle opener and the fact that you needed to know some of the ancient ways of counting, which also makes sense because predators are an ancient culture and they would use that number system. So I enjoyed that, I liked that. Challenge number four is called the Claw Codex. This one took me a little bit of time also, but not too much. Uh, so you're going to pull your pages out again, and you can see this right here. There's a dot that's very important. And then on the other side, no dot. That gives you a reference of what page you're on. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and your little Wolverine and you're going to put his head and match it. And when you do that, it will look like this. So you see when he's laying down there, his claws will match up with lines on the paper. The one on the left there is the first one with the dot and the second one is without the dot. And when you look at the glyphs you're going to use your key again so that you can know what letter it is and when you do that you get those letters. Once you get those letters you've got to use this paper to figure out which letter to use. So this is where the dot comes into play. You see there's a dot for some of them and no dot for others. So you'll want to take the dot of the left top. And what that means is on the one with the dot, which is this one on the uh, left there, you see I put a dot in there next to his head in the top left or left top what it means is his left arm the top blade which is B and then the right arm top blade would be E and so on and this is for the dot page and the one on the right would be your non dot page so then you have to put a letter for each one, reference each one. And then this is where the answer comes in. So if you do not want to know the answer, click away, go forward a little bit. You have been warned. 
but this is the answer when you have the letters at first I started cutting them up and I thought it said bloodied berserker bar rage I don't know why I thought it said bar rage as two separate words but the actual uh, solution is bloodied berserker barrage which makes a lot more sense <laughs> But it took me a little while. I was uh, I was typing in bloodied berserker bar rage and it wasn't working. And I'm like, man, I spelled it right. I don't get it. I don't understand. And then it just dawned on me. Oh, it's barrage. <laughs> My own damn fault. Now, challenge number five. That one was a doozy. And that took me a while. Uh, not so much of trying to figure it out, but more of just in scope of how much you had to do uh, it did take me a little bit I got confused at one part but then I quickly figured it out so you're gonna need these three you need your calendar your Jurassic numerical semaphore and the park security report now this Jurassic numerical semaphore what that is a semaphore is what you see guys in the military or on uh, airports that have the two flags and whatever position they put the flags in it says a letter or references a letter and that's why there's three points so you can see three points and then whatever the shape is that's the number that it's referencing so you're going to use your calendar and the park security report now I blacked out the answer, uh, but you can see like the first one is the 6th, 7th, and 15th. And if you look at your calendar, when you do the 6th, 7th, and then 15th, it's one over and one down angled. So when you reference this one, that's number 29 and then you just do that for all of them 20th 8th and 11th when you put those together it will make the shape of a two and so on and so forth so now that you know what the numbers are you need to find out what the numbers are referencing for letters and you're going to need your sign for that every character is a number every character this is what can stump people so if you look at this I made this it says warning do not touch fence and this is the important part exclamation point electrified fence throughout the park so if you see this number 23 I have it bold is an exclamation point because the exclamation point is a character it's not a letter but it's a character but you need it because if you don't have it as number 23 then the second half of the list is off by one letter and then your what you get is doesn't make sense so you're going to take those numbers and reference back to 29 33 12 32 blah 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 and you're going to associate a letter to that now we're going to get into spoilers so I'm going to give the answer now if you do not want to know the answer please skip forward a little bit you have been warned so once you put them together 29 equals R and 30 is I 3 is R when you have them in order from left to right R A G I N G R E P and it spells out raging reptilian so type in raging reptilian and you solved number five challenge I did enjoy this one however it did take me a while the part that took me a while was I forgot the exclamation point was a character <laughs> I made the mistake that I was telling everybody that I should be doing and so the first time I ran through it I was like these letters don't make any sense 
And then I looked at the sign again, noticed the exclamation point, and was like, ah, and then it all fell into place. Challenge number six was an interesting one as well. I enjoyed it. And what you're going to do is take the, you'll recognize the one with the back cover from our previous solution. You have to cut the teeth off, which is from the inside. This is our glyph, one of our glyph index and you cut the teeth out. You can see I taped it because when I cut it out I forgot I needed the other half. <laughs> so I taped those back on. But you get your teeth and then you put it up on the sign and they point to letters. So you write those letters down that they pointed to and then for this you have to fold it over and you see it's pointing to glyphs. So you have the letters for each point and then you have your glyphs that it references for each point and you're going to use your glyph key that you created earlier and you're going to use the numbers that are referenced for each point. You have 1, 11, 16, 14, and I just went down the line. The glyphs would be 15 through 6. So we're going to get into spoilers now. If you don't want to know the answer, please click away. You have been warned. So when you associate the letters for 1 through 4, you get these letters C-P-O-I-R-O-T. And when you associate the glyphs for the other half, 15 through 6, you get O-A-R-U-S-C. Now when you're writing out your answer, you're going to be using this. And you can see it's got two lines and then a symbol. Three line symbol, four line symbol, and then four lines. That symbol is one of your glyphs, and it's the letter E. So you're going to put in two lines and an E, then three lines and an E, so on and so forth. And when you put the letters in for reference of the numbers 1 through 16, then you get creatious period. And that is your answer. Creatious period. Which is one of the periods when all the dinosaurs lived. It's just not the one that everybody knows. That's what was uh, kind of funny is Jurassic Park, a lot of the dinosaurs that were in Jurassic Park did not live during the Jurassic period. They lived during the Creaceous period. <laughs> and that could be why that they have the answer, Creaceous period. Maybe they're making people want to look it up and uh, a little nod to that reference that the dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park movie are not actually from the Jurassic period. Hmm. But what did you guys think? Did you have fun doing these puzzles? What were you able to get solutions for on your own? And which ones did you need help with that maybe I helped you out? Uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts. You can also join my Discord server where we have a bunch of rooms where people can talk with each other. And uh, I'm on there as well. We've got stuff for requests and trailers and all that kind of jazz. And if there's a room that you would like, I can set one up. But uh, we're small right now because I just created it recently. But the more people we get in there, the more conversations there will be. So check that out. And links to that, my social medias, and everything is in the description below. So go ahead and check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun doing these, and I think I'm going to do this every month because last month's video got a lot of views. Hopefully this video helps out some people, and uh, I'm going to continue doing them. So we'll see what the Secret Order of Keys gives us next month. I'm excited. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.